Hi guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how to solve this problem with virtual texture when you download some something from bridge and your virtual texture turn on and you can see that result. So if we turn on our virtual texture here we solve this problem but we want to save this virtual texture but with uh, with good quality so how to solve it it's very simple uh, you need to open your default default material and change these materials here like this you have some virtual texture some default virtual texture uh, i have another because i have uh, changed this uh, this material so um, you need to do like this change and oops and ch change this with virtual color here also here and here so we have all of these all of these patterns with virtual texture and we can see that result is very good so now we see that our that our materials looks great but we have also another materials like this also you need to change here some textures i need to open my biggest one with the asset and change it here also oops yeah Like this, this, and this. So, and here also we need to change our material. So now we can see that our materials be changed and looks very good. Also we have this text file with all of columns. So this comment um, I think happened why so this comment uh turn on uh hiding yeah here so now we can see that our virtual texture works great with our meshes yes and we have also these comments to see how much it cost here okay and in this tutorial I want to show you how to how to add raw partition but first of all you need to know that you need to turn on virtual texture support here if you have if you want to use virtual texture and wait some time to compiling shaders and after that when you download something from your content uh, you have uh, this result okay and world settings for world settings we have 
this feature world partition so when you want to make your some map uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of assets you need to turn off this feature and uh, make your map and after all of this you need to enable streaming and you have these grids so here we have uh, it's for optimization of your content uh, to optimize uh, all of all of say uh, all of asset uh, so now we can see some some result because I have uh, like uh, 20 actors but if we have 1000 actors you can see this result uh, I, I'm using these settings here for my own game and it's worked great so that's all for world partition and I'm making a new tutorial to uh, to tell about uh, this feature world layers outliner uh, how to work with vo uh, world layers and also I can show how to turn on uh, Turn on the night here. So, oops, uh, you need to add, you need to add support, the night support here, and turn on. Wait some time, some shaders. In this tutorial, you need to wait a lot of time. So now we have our meshes work with nanite and also with virtual texture. But uh, for virtual texture you can use some very high resolution, some very high resolution, I, I think 8K if you want. Uh, I want to add some something like this on the floor with highest quality and download and virtual texture works great with it Also, you need to change virtual texture here. So now we have our virtual texture. So it's look great, but I want to make it smaller we need to make it 
like this. So now we can see that our virtual texture works great. Right. So next part we have our our world partition system but uh, how to we can do like this and load cells yes uh, yeah sometimes when you restart your project you can see that something unloaded so you need only to load these cells and you can see all of your assets but sometimes happened that you have unloading some parts and you can't load these or uh, you can delete these i don't know why it's happening but sometimes it's happened so uh, i recommend you to disable this steering world partition and make your own map and after this turn on world partition system so thank you guys for watching and see you next tutorial